Hey, estheticians, good to see you. So we're gonna practice speed sugaring DIY style on my arms. I've got Team Jessa coming up for the skin games. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And in the comments section below, write what other types of videos you'd like to see. Do you wanna see me reacting to spa things? Do you wanna see more DIY? You wanna see more about skincare? Let me know your suggestions below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button for notifications so you can see when I make new videos. Every Tuesday slash Wednesday, and sometimes in between, surprise, I will be publishing new videos. So I'm gonna kind of sit back here so you can see my arms, okay? so. If you don't see my head very well, that's intentional. I'm not wearing beautiful clothes because I'm gonna be showing you sugaring. I don't wanna get dirty. First you cleanse. I am gonna be using my right hand. So my right hand is like a beginner's arm, okay? I don't use my right hand and that means that's not my good side. I don't have my four by fours, so this is bad of me. But I'm doing my best. And I have a little powder bowl with our powder in it. I couldn't find. So I've actually totally contaminated and because these aren't four by fours I'm making a mess so what I'm gonna do because my legs are clean I'm gonna make another video on my legs I'm gonna just rub all this in but if you see any powder on me sugaring is not always the cleanest so you never want to contaminate a jar if you accidentally touched your skin or your your client's skin with your glove so this is soft and my favorite mix most of the year is soft and original. So for arms, let's show you the size. So this is cold, this is not heated. The room's about 70, maybe a little bit high, higher temp than that. So I grab my saw first, and now because of the room temperature, I'm putting about one fourth of my ball. Try to do it in fourths. So when you're mixing, add one fourth soft first, then one half. Don't do little fractions of, do your best eyeball of whatever your ball size is gonna be. Try to eyeball one fourth, then one half, then three fourths and keep mixing and playing around in different situations. So sometimes I say sugar, it's like playing with Play-Doh, you know, when you're mixing different colors together. You wanna make sure that you're making the sugar work for you. You just put that over there. So you don't wanna be fighting your sugar and having your sugar work against you. Does that make sense? So you want to make the perfect blend for you. You don't want to fight your sugar and have your sugar take control of you. You take charge of your sugar and you mix the perfect blends for what you need. A lot of times original for newer sugarists or in hotter climates will get you through a lot of different services. But as you advance in sugaring after your first year or two, you're going to want a softer paste. Okay. Here we go. So these are the sections. First, you go straight up the inside of the arm. And remember, when you start with the paste cold, make sure your room's not 50 or 60 degrees. If it is, you need to put your sugar in a warmer and still heat it to a cold temp, which is 80 degrees or even just 75 degrees, just so your sugar's not frozen when you start using it. My hair is a little short, so I'm probably 
Now I'm going to show you the speed sugaring technique. If you're new, you want to move in sections like this across the top of the client's arm. You do not wrap all the way around the wrist or all the way around this side. That's actually a good way to bruise someone and you'll have a really hard time taking it off. Sometimes I do bruise myself right here because I'm not holding the skin taut. You have to anchor the skin. Okay, so let's show you speed sugaring. This is actually one of the areas in the skin games. So make sure you have a big enough sugar ball. Remember with cold paste, if your client's taking good care of their skin and you've worked on them before and you know that their hair is gonna come out, which I'm due for all my sugaring. It was maybe four weeks ago that I did it. So this is the tricky part. When you're new, if you spread all this on, you have to go to the peaks. So where's the peak now? That's the peak. Go to the very top of your sugar. That Now this is the tallest peak. And you have to keep working your way down until you get all the sugar off. So now most of that lower arm is done. Now we're gonna do this section. Arm hair as it's growing in and leg hair is really stubborn. So sometimes you wanna let it sit a little longer or you wanna mold a few times. And then you wanna check those little babies and make sure they came out. Okay, that's pretty much the whole lower arm. And that was just minutes, okay? So my other video, I was saying, I did a five minute Brazilian the other day, sugaring, no, no kidding. I don't know if that client will let me film her Brazilian because those are special models. So what I'm doing is cleaning up any strays. So some of you are practicing sugar tweezing, which is you isolate a hair and you put the tiniest bit of sugar on. Remember when you go like this and spread a whole bunch of sugar on to get a little bit of hair, you're actually overworking the skin. You can see how right there, you know, sugar is pretty, the skin is pretty forgiving of sugar, but you will overwork the skin if you're doing huge pieces unnecessarily, especially on underarms or Brazilian. Ouch. okay? So isolating a hair is either like this in a little figure eight. I touched my um, sugar jar there. Oops. Sometimes you can pick up your sugar and sometimes it just makes more of a mess if your sugar is really soft, okay? So the upper arm to do it speed style, most of the hair actually grows up or it grows straight down and you need to go up. So I'm running out of sugar or I would do another section, you know, right across there. So you have to have a lip of sugar on your hand. So if you're transitioning from waxing, you have a lip of sugar right here. If you run out of sugar on your fingertips, it's like your wax stick. If you run out of the lip, you're just running a sticky wax stick or a sticky hand through hair pulling on it. Make sure you mold slow enough too. Biggest complaint ever, which is one reason why cold sugaring is good. Warm sugaring is a very fast mold. Cold sugaring, you're actually meant to slow it down and it's effective that way. So this part of my arm, I can't reach very well, but the same idea, you're gonna do wide strips and cover as much arm as possible. Okay, pretty quick, huh? Okay, watch this. <laughs> Time to switch. So this 
side isn't going to look as graceful because I'm not right-handed. I don't sugar right-handed. The only time I sugar right-handed is when I'm working on myself. But I want to show you how easy this is for beginners or just someone who knows how to use the technique. Don't overwork your sugar. New sugarists have a tendency to go like, you know, don't do that. Put your sugar in a little ball on your fingertips and just hold it there. Leave it alone and because it's cold, it will stay in place much better. So you can see this is staying nice and pliable, which was not the case when I did my new cold sugaring video. So don't let a cold sugaring, excuse me, a warm sugaring company tell you that warm sugar that's soft is the same type of formula as a cold paste. Cold pastes are formulated to be used this way, okay? So wrists, and see, this is my bad hand, so I'm just, look, I'm not as slick, but this is what you're gonna be dealing with. So the longer that sits, the more it's gonna seep into the dry skin. Never, never mold and mold and mold and mold when your sugar gets stuck. Just try to pick it up quickly. Just kind of try to touch and flick, okay? Sometimes, I get pretty stuck with this hand because it's not an experienced sugaring hand, but it looks like I know what I'm doing, but I still would have a lot to, of work to do to sugar with my right hand. We're still using speed techniques though with my beginner's hand because I know how to work the sugar, okay? And you can see those little pieces real easily that are left over. Okay, this is the last section. So there is a difference between, you know, a really experienced sugarist and a new sugarist. See how I'm following the peaks? all the way down. Okay, there is that section. back of this arm's hairy. I bet you, <laughs> I bet you because this is my bad hand, I didn't get the hair very well on this arm. Although I have fabulous estheticians at my spa, sometimes we don't get that work done on each other. We try, but we're busy estheticians. So like I said, the, the removal is not as smooth with this hand. So if you're new, you know, and you're sort of getting the hang of it, you're gonna kind of look like me using my right hand, okay? All right, and then if you do shoulder, you know, mostly that's your male clientele. The, the hair up here usually grows like this. Of course, it's really horrible, my flick there. Sometimes if there's hair here and you can't get to it, you can do it that way. Okay, and see, you know, my, my sugar doesn't look as neat, but I can still, because I know how to sugar, I can still make, make stuff happen with this hand. See? but it just doesn't look as clean and neat. That's fine. When you're learning, that's fine. Don't worry about that. You'll get better at it. 
Okie doke. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. I need lots of beauty ideas. I'm feeling very creative this year. I want to get the YouTube channel hopping and pumping again. I know I took a long break there and I apologize for that, but I have three young kids and I have a busy spa and our skincare line is national. So don't forget to follow my sales. I have lots of great giveaways and sales going on. Even if you don't use the line, come on by and enter it for a giveaway. If you haven't tried the line, the skincare line is fantastic. Also, if you're an esthetician, join Esthetician Talk and Sugar Love Certified Estheticians Training Lounge. Okay, so Esthetician Talk, the full name is Esthetician Talk Natural Skin Care and Networking, I believe. Okay, so we're going to clean my arms off. So first you tone. Always tone, this kills, you know, there's sweat and bacteria that gets going and that this helps clean the skin, okay? This is my fake four by four. <laughs> my supplies at home are just not, make sure your four by four is really soaked in water. This is supposed to cleanse all, any residue off the skin, and then I even flip it around so I'm not just wiping some of the sugar I just got off onto the skin again. Now I have beautifully sugared arms. Join me soon for the speed sugaring leg DIY. I'll see you soon. I interact really well on Facebook. If you're an esthetician and you have ongoing questions and training needs, that's the best place to private message me. Love you guys. I'll see you soon.